that. She's just waving. Yeah, look at that. She's waving. <laughs> okay, Grandpa, <laughs> goodbye. She has to go bake some more cookies. <laughs> I have the best grandma in the world. No. Best grandma. Bingo. I love my grandma. Your your grandma is this. And no. My grandma's third place? And oh, could you guys? Our, uh, and we are and then she and Jonas, uh, uh grandma is this. <laughs> Yay. My third place? <laughs> Grandmother is uh, a monster scare. They're joking, Grandma. Don't believe them. They're joking. Grandma, sit down. What did you guys want? Because <laughs> and we see we see her. We are like this. Okay, I think it's time we focus on what's important. For example, class. Are you ready for the class? <laughs> what's wrong? <sighs> Why is Benjamin bumping? <laughs> Alright guys, you ready to begin with class? Yep! Thank you. Help. Okay, fine. Two, two notes. <laughs> How many chapters do we have to read for today? How many chapters do we have to read? Four. 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 Which class is this about? Which class is this? Is it our second, third, fourth, tenth class? Which one? Third. This is. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Clearly had. Third class, four chapters to read. About homework, guys. <sighs> you guys have all written down your homework. No. Well, yes. What do you mean, no? no. Yes, you did. You no. did. There, there is your homework right here in the chat. <laughs> Where? Yeah. Right here. Look, there's a Benjamin here and it says Kenneth here. Did you not write homework, Kenneth? I know why, because they're just their parents. In chat GPT. Yes, it is a robot that can that can do anything for me. Well, what? Well, okay. Say there's something. No, no. Wait. He, he, it's a one hundred. He is kidding. He he just saying I write it for him. Well then, who's telling the truth? <laughs> you can't love me. Well, then, did you write your homework yourself? Yep. Well, you. We did it together. We did it together. Yeah, yeah. I did help out Joel with homework. Guys, we have a problem. I ran out of tea. It's my last class. Mm. Well, okay. Let's focus on. Let's focus on. All right. Now. You guys did not give me a full answer. I did. Okay? I did. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let me explain. Jonah did her answer 100% correctly. Not any issues. Because she acknowledged the art of full answers. Now, Kenneth. <laughs> Hello. What is a full answer? I need you to tell me. Kenneth. I was just about to say, who is Kenneth? <laughs> what is a...
What is what that is? Sorry, so I know a four answer is is a word with a four and an answer. Makes sense, right? Makes makes very much sense. A full answer is an answer that includes the question. Oh. Who can read? Who can do it? Who can read what? the first question about the animals and the musical sounds? Who wants to read? Who can read it? Tell me. Oh, okay. Now I know. I can see it. Okay, go on, Joy. I want you to read the question first. In the novel, we see that Harry and Tucker don't hate each other. They are friends. The same thing happens in real life. Some cats and dogs are actually close friends and don't fight each other. Why or why not? Great. What about the second answer about the the musical about the the, the Chester? The okay, Chester. let me read it. Let me just find it first. In the novel, we got introduced to Mr. Smedley, who tells us that Chester is gifted by Mother Nature due to the amazing sounds he can make. What other animals do you think make musical sounds? Okay, so Jolyn gave us the <laughs> full answer. The full answer was, I think that, apart from crickets, Birds can also make musical sounds too, but I, but I never heard one before. Yep. Now, Benjamin, I want you to read your answer to this question. 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 <laughs> question. 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 <laughs> Benjamin, uh, have you finished guessing your answer? <laughs> single word you just said, Benjamin. Not a single one. Maybe I can answer. Is he talking about the question or the answer? <laughs> oh, he's talking about the uh, the answer. I want him to read the answer which he gave. Okay, I can. Really? Yeah, he's actually just yelling. The camera is like. <laughs> okay, Kenneth. Kenneth. Okay, you can read the answer of that question. Just unmute. <laughs> just unmute the efforts. Yeah, thank you. Yes, Kenneth. Read your answer to that musical question which I wrote down. Get a mute. Kenneth? Uh, mute. A uh, mute. Kenneth? You're muted. muted. <laughs> Kenneth? Kenneth? A uh, mute. I think that's a no. <laughs> I thought that's a very much a no. Kenneth, are you muted? You need to unmute first, buddy. Huh? There you go. <laughs> now can you read the answer to the question? My answer? Yes, to the question about the animals and the musical sounds. There are six da 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 uh brown fair people make Well, yeah, he's like, I think that from the 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 the. Birds, cicada, frogs, and people make musical sounds. <laughs> Benjamin, is okay, Benjamin? Are you dead? Yep. I'm not. I survived. <laughs> okay, Jolyn survived because he cut her earphones out of me. Oh, yeah. And I have a single one. I don't have two. I have one. I have double the sound of time. 
That one in my ear. And it just it just condensed all the stuff <laughs> in my brain. My brain started vibrating like guys. I can to look it up. I could not manage it. Okay. Do you guys see the mistake which you have made in your answers? Do not give me a full answer. Okay? So who would like to try and give me a full answer to this question? Oh. <laughs> Benjamin is like, I don't know. Benjamin is like, okay, I have to study the book. <laughs> I'm close. <laughs> Kenneth, can you try? No? Benjamin, I need you to answer the question with the full answer, buddy. Can you try to do that? Maybe I can help. I just say one thing. Uh, I think just that... Uh, Do you know? Okay, Jolene, can you give me an example of a full answer? Okay, which question? <laughs> it's about the, except for like, forget what other animals you can. Ah, okay, let me find it first. I think that apart from crickets, birds can also make musical sounds too, but I never heard one before. Yeah. Exactly. So, guys, what is Jolene doing? Jolene is telling us. That she's using the full answer. The full answer means you have to rewrite some of the question. Which means, for example, the question is, except for crickets, or for me, for, apart from crickets, what other animal do you think make musical sounds? And Jolin answered, I think that, because the question is, do you think? I think that, apart from crickets, for example, birds, humans, or frogs also make musical sounds. Do you understand, guys? Yep. So she is rewriting the question. What other animal do you think make musical sounds? So she answered, I think that apart from crickets or other kids, frogs or birds also make musical sounds. Very, very easy, guys. Do you understand? Whoa. Do you guys understand? Yep. Okay. Very, very easy. I think there's two no's. <laughs> yeah, I think there's two no. <laughs> Kenneth, you understand? Okay, let's do a bit of practice. Let's do a little bit of practice. Kenneth, I'm going to start with you. I'm going to give you a question, and I need you to give me an answer, okay? Okay, that, that's a no. <laughs> that's a no. Okay, Kenneth, I'm going to give you a question. Um, what do you think about puppies? Your answer would be, I think... That puppies are cute. Yes. So you don't just write down puppies are cute. You write, I think that puppies are cute. The question is, what do you think about puppies? I think that puppies are cute. Do you understand, Kenneth? Mm. I understand. <laughs> yeah, so okay, Kenneth, do you understand? Yep. Kenneth, do you understand? Yep. Yes, okay. Another question then for you, Kenneth. We're going to do three. Two of them I will answer for you. Can it be me? <laughs> I'll answer the second one. I'll answer the second one. Questions. Okay, the two questions for me and then one question for you, Kenneth, okay? Hey. Uh, do you think... Uh, do you think this you class think is fun? <laughs> yeah. Do you think it's nice? Fine, that. That, that, that's also good. And your answer is, I think that this table is nice. Okay? So now let's try the third question. Do you think Tucker was happy with his living conditions? What would be your answer, Kim? That's an old question. That's an old question, yes, but I want Kim to try to answer it. Mm. And then, question again. Yes. Do you think Tucker no, is happy with his living conditions? Oh, oh, 
Hunter was I think he is uh yeah and him mm-hmm. um uh um uh, uh condition living okay. living living what's that what's that condition condition so the answer was conditioner. Conditioner? No, no. Conditioner. <laughs> condition is different. Okay. So the right answer. Yes. Okay. The right answer would be, I think that Tucker was happy with his living. Okay. So the question is, do you think that Tucker was happy with his living? And the answer would be, I think that Tucker. What's happening with the living conditions? Do you guys understand? Yep. Okay, Benjamin, do you understand? I did. Yes. I, I like his salute. Benjamin's so nice. He's so nice to his friends with his salute. Okay. Mm-hmm. Benjamin, let me ask you a question. Do you think that Jolin is enjoying the class? <laughs> Try to give me a full time. <laughs> Why is asking him about the question, not me? Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> but Benjamin, give me a full answer to the question. <laughs> if this is a no, that would be very funny. <laughs> me. Mm. Benjamin, can you give me an answer? You see. Yeah. Uh, I think that's Jonathan. My question is, do you think that Jolin is happy? In class. Uh, I no. think what? <laughs> okay, I think that Joel is happy in this class. Remember, let's go to the material use guys. <laughs> Remember, you are not allowed to change the tense. Okay? You are not allowed to change the tense of the uh, question not was is so if I ask you do you think Jolin is happy in class you have to answer I think that Jolin is happy in class do you guys understand yep okay very good let's move on to this okay guys after this I have a Harry Potter class I don't know if you guys know this I'm not sure you guys but some of Minecraft is burning <laughs> what? Let me see. Let me see. You're Minecraft. You are. You, you're Minecraft. <laughs> Look at that. It's not. It's just like burning. Look at that. It's burning. It's very weird. Okay. What reason are you? <laughs> yeah! 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 <laughs> yeah! <laughs> For that right now. I'm going to try to focus on the class, okay? Now, all jokes aside, let's focus on the more important part today. So both of you guys understand what full answers are, right? Me too. Okay, very good. Very good. And Joe's all, of course, I understand. <laughs> um, all right, guys. So, so, let's get that out of the way. Get that out of the way for a second. Um... We all understand the answers in class. So you guys understand how full answers work, right? Yep. Okay, so there are no more any there 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 are no more questions about this, right? Yep. <laughs> we have a problem. Your tea. And I almost ran out of my water. <laughs> <laughs> he has um four hundred bags of tea. Okay. Oh. Here, you here. This here is tea. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Like, amazing job. If I were to do an amazing job. Okay, guys. Okay. That is all. Okay, that is all well cleared and understood. Okay. okay. Now. The four chapters we had to read. Who read those chapters? Me! Okay, guys. I warned everyone we have to read those. 
Can you guys hear any questions? Any, or can you guys hear any sounds? I hear the sounds that are coming from my laptop. Very noisy, kind of. Oh. Oh, I just, okay. I just hear you. Just hear me. That's a good sound. That's a good sound. If you can hear me talking, that's a good sound. Okay. Well, in that case, as I was saying, guys, we are going to have to be focusing a little bit more towards today's class, which is going to be about the new four chapters. Now, who has read these chapters, guys? Everyone has. So let's try to, to talk about them. Okay? We got some, I don't think we have that vocabulary. Did anyone do any vocabulary this time, guys? I forgot. <laughs> No one did any vocabulary. I just heard. I guess four times. Four times. What? Yeah, like um, a bell, a small bell, like a like an a, alarm clock ring, like and, and I heard one time too. Or, or, like. Um, there's no plane in your cup. Are these sounds that you heard? There's no sounds. <laughs> now, let's try to focus. Okay, talk about that later, guys. Today we have a very, very important task. Okay? Which is going to be regarding four chapters. We'll talk about those sounds later, okay? I heard some sounds well. That's all I was asking, guys. I heard some sounds well. But, okay. Let's try to emphasize on the class. Who would like, what is the first chapter that we've read called? No, not, 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 not the first chapter from the book. No, no, not the first chapter from the book. We had another four chapters to read. Now, what is that first chapter? Okay, Jolin, what is the name? The Chinese Dinner. The Chinese Dinner. Okay, it's getting interesting. All right, all right, the Chinese Dinner. Guys, are you using tablets and stuff? Again. Look, my two are colorful. The, mostly are black, and then my are, mine is pink, and I got stickers. <laughs> wow, okay. No, mine is not black. Mine is dark blue. Okay, that's still the same. Look, look, look. Um, okay, okay. Like, okay. No problem. Now, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. Relax. Guys. Let it focus a little bit, okay? Let's go. <laughs> For today. Can we please? Try to focus on the class and on the first chapter, which was the Chinese dinner night. There's no night. Well, dinner is usually at night. Uh, Do you guys know that? Maybe not. Okay, we'll talk about the Chinese dinner. Go we'll Chinese dinner. Okay? Now. Now. Now, okay. now guys. Who would like to begin talking about that first chapter of the Chinese dinner? Okay, are you guys sure all of you know what's happening? All of you guys can explain in detail. Well, if you're reading in detail, then I can just read the whole chapter. That's in super detail. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I still not just joking. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, everybody pick a number between one and ten. What? One is Benjamin. Okay, Jolin, what's your number? Seven. Seven is Jolin. Kenneth, what is your number? Oh, it's five. Let me see. How long do I have an open chat? I've been long time looking at Chinese. Yeah, I do agree. Yeah, uh, it's just typing a number. Why is it taking so long? Benjamin, you just have to type a number to one and ten. Uh, Benjamin one, Jolin seven, <laughs> Kenneth 
Kenneth, what is your number? That is not a hell. Okay, okay seven, seven like me. Number, actually, what? No, the number was two. Benjamin got it right. Okay, Benjamin, you can begin talking about what happened in the Chinese dinner. Hold on. Okay, guys, guys, allow me to explain. For this class, I am going to pretend like I don't know anything. Okay? Let's just pretend I don't know. Okay? So if you guys tell me something, I'm gonna believe. It. If mm. the two of you guys are are um if you guys are saying the complete opposite, for example, Kenneth says that. Mario met uh, Harry the cat, and Jolie says that's not true. Then you guys are gonna have to argue, argue about it. <laughs> argue about it. <laughs> guys are going to resolve it. By giving proof. For example, Joel can say, okay, here in chapter, uh, for example, uh, 8 or 9, it says that he did not meet Harry the Cat. So then it's right, all right? We need to learn how to discuss with people who have not seen it. So I need you guys to be honest, okay? <laughs> Set proof. So, Benjamin, let's begin, right? Describe chapter nine for me. Chapter nine. Okay. There are dinosaurs. <laughs> Mario went to Mad Psycho because there's a problem with Hester Crickets. Hester Cricket? You say Hester Cricket. <laughs> okay. Also met another Chinese man. Gentleman. Gentleman. Ate a Chinese dinner together. Okay. Then they uh, went to find the answer, the problem, the the solution to to Chester's problem. And they found out that uh, Chester needs to eat Mulberry Well, you actually, you didn't say about part the start. What is the problem about Chester? <laughs> I, I actually was a. Thank you, Joel. Okay, thank you, Joel. <laughs> Guys, it's not I just cover your mouth. Or you can just mute. Why well, I just cover your wrist? I can't even see What 
was the problem? Jolene gave us a very, very good question. <laughs> what was the problem? The problem. Friends, <laughs> one friend here. Chester, Martin. A two dollar bill. Chester, a two dollar. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. That's all very clear and understood. All right, well done. Well done with that. Let's take a job. Let's focus a little bit more on uh, the part five. <laughs> All right. Pedro had a problem. Yes. Why did Mario go to that Chinese place? Uh, let's see. Well, Jolie, how about you try this? Well, because there's no other people that that knows about crickets better than Sam Fran. Okay. Interesting. All right, that is, uh, Kenneth, is that why he went to the Chinese place? <laughs> Kenneth? Is that why he went to the Chinese place? Do you agree with Joel and Kenneth? Mm. Well, okay, that, that means agree. <laughs> Well, we'll take that as a group. Benjamin, do you agree as well? Yes. Okay. 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 In that case, guys, move on a little bit. Okay. What happened at the Chinese dinner? What happened at the Chinese dinner? What happened? Um. Oh. Does anybody know? Okay, everybody. Okay, uh, let's well, Benjamin. Benjamin, come on. Hmm. Uh, they ate uh, uh, a lot of noodles. Maybe noodles or spaghetti. Spaghetti? That's not spaghetti. That's not Chinese food. Is it Chinese food or is it Japanese? A Chinese vegetable. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Jolin, do you agree? No, oh, yeah, it is a chayak Chinese vegetable. Um Next came fried rice with pork. Look a delicious brown okay, that is really gorgeous. Then chormai with pan fried noodles and cherish nuts. What was the goal of the dinner, guys? Why why did he go there? What was the goal of the dinner? What happened? What happened? Uh they found uh, they found that crickets <laughs> they would eat and you L L R R Y Spence. Oh, yeah. Do you have to spell out? Some type of green. Mm, yep. Oh. leaves. Oh. I see. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yes, that is actually correct. Now, did Chester actually eat that leaf, guys? Uh, well... When he put it in there, he didn't. And but the when Mar Mario says he didn't like it, and then San Francisco said, "Oh, he liked it, but he just fell off the Chinese dinner." 
So Chester just took a little bite. That shows he likes it. Did he actually like it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Okay. It's interesting.、Uh, and, and what happened at the end of the Chinese dinner? They just bowed, and and then Mario just back out of the shop, bowing. <laughs> Okay. Okay. We'll take that. We'll take that. Pretty interesting. But all right. Granted. We'll、uh, what is that? Everything that happens in the in the first chapter, guys, that we had to read. Hmm. The first chapter. Well, yeah. Yes. Maybe.、Sure. E. Okay. Everybody says yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, what happens in the next chapter? What is the next chapter called? The dinner party. No, no, no. The next.、Part. Yeah.、Oh, the dinner party. Yes. Between the, the, the Adams guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pretty interesting. Okay, so let's begin with Benjamin. Benjamin, who was at the dinner party? Chester, Cricket, and Tucker Mouse. Harry, huh? Yeah. Oh, so Tucker, Chester, and Harry. Okay, John. Was there anyone else in the party? Nope. No, no one else. All right. Pretty interesting. Um,、uh, let's see. Why was there a dinner party happening? I don't know. Benjamin knows. Kenneth, what are you doing, buddy? <sighs> Finding my eraser. Why do you need your eraser? <laughs> yeah, let's ask why you need an eraser in class. Are you erasing something from your mind? Or... No, it's <laughs> I found a pencil and an eraser, and it disappeared. Wow. All right, pretty sounds pretty interesting. Um, okay. With that being said and done, though. Try to move on and move forward.、Uh, Benjamin, can you answer the question, please? Okay, because Chester came、um, came to New York for、um, two months and did he celebrate? <laughs> They celebrated the two month anniversary. It was.、Yeah. Two months since Chester had left in New York. So okay, uh, Jolin. Okay, one second, Benjamin. Very sorry to interrupt. Jolin, is this all true? I cannot even hear it clearly. Uh, he said that they were celebrating the two month anniversary of Chester coming to New York. Yeah. So this is true. Yes. Okay, Kenneth. Kenneth. Kenneth, can you please stop that? Kenneth. Very loud and very distressed. Can I stop? Okay. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Now, uh, yeah, very well said and done. Then, thank you so much. Okay, so what was happening at the dinner table? Now, I want, I want Joel to start talking about the dinner table.、Okay? Dinner table. Yeah, the dinner. What was happening? A dinner party. Okay, party. Dinner table. Is there a dinner chair? <laughs> the dinner party. The dinner chair. <laughs> Jolin. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Going makes sense. The dinner chair. <laughs> well, if they have a table, they have a chair. <laughs> well, actually, we didn't have to get a table. No, What happened? Five. Five. Okay. Dinner fire. Okay. Dinner fire. Okay. Yep. What happened in, on the dinner party, guys? With the animals. There's a fire. Kenneth. Thank God that I, can, I can't stand that. Yes, Kenneth, a little bit more quiet, please. There was a fire. Is this true, guys? Well, yes. Damn it. Wow. Now I'm interested. Again, guys, let's pretend like I don't know <sighs> what's going on. And I need you guys to explain it for me. Well, actually, you already know, but you're saying you don't know. That's a bit weird. <laughs> well, it's because I'm pretending like I don't know. Oh yeah, but that's、okay. weird. 
it's going to help you guys kind of train your whole verbal sense in English. Yeah. Horrible sense. Who, who would like to talk about what happened in the whole fire? Why did the fire cause the fire? <sighs> Let's see. Kenneth, what caused the fire? Talking about guys on the 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 news that both and he knocked over the match and the match was it on fire and most of them uh, just uh, Some of them just, most of them just, then, oh. off. Off? Okay, Cholin, is this true? I cannot hear the end clearly. It was because the end. Yes, yes, continue. And one of them just, uh, can I think you're reading your book? <laughs> oh yeah, he's doing it like this. Okay, and then. <laughs> Janet, don't just read your book. I need you to retell. <laughs> what's the point? No, I forgot what this is called. Okay, okay. Jolin, I want you to give me your option. Why do you think the fire occurred? Because Tucker was dancing and then he accidentally tripped over the matchbox and one of them lit and then the lit one landed on some newspapers and then the newspaper just, just, just go fire. And they died of fire, yes. They use eyes to, uh, spray it on the, the, the papers. Well, but it didn't work. Yes, and it, then they want to use papers to, I mean, to, to put the fire up. The, yes, but the fire just, um, get, uh, get bigger and bigger. And so they, they put, uh, they, uh, Chester said, the uh, alarm clock and it starts ringing and 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 and, and they they run um out and out and they were safe in the train. Wow. Okay. Okay. And um oh. when when the conductor Touch the ring, and then he saw the, f uh, and he smelled smoke, so he went to, and there's 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 a fire, and he put it out and sprayed wa with water again, and then uh, the police come, and. Please come and they think it was the the cricket and the um the Tucker Mouth Tucker Mouth and Harry Cat set it and and um Chester chirped uh Mama Bellini's favorite song and um, yes it's going a bit too far. Yeah, I, I was about to say, are you sure you're not going to get on? Okay, so my camera's not working. Okay, anyway, are you sure you're not going too far, Kenneth? Because I was asking why the fire happened. You didn't explain all the four chapters. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Jolin, 
Why did the fire occur? What is your explanation? Why did the fire occur? Well, because Tucker was dancing to the music, and he accidentally tripped over the matchbox, and one of them just lit, and then the lit one landed on the newspaper, and then set the fire. Yeah, very simple. Yeah, I agree. Okay, that all clear. Okay, um, how did they solve this problem, Benjamin? They they just played a song that was um Mama Balloon's favorite. Okay, and what happened then? Um, and Mama Balloon. <laughs> Um, he can stay for for a few days. Oh, uh, okay. I see. And Joel, do you agree with this? Yep. Okay, Kenneth, do you agree as well? Yes, Kenneth, do you agree with what they are saying right now about playing the song favorite and blah blah blah? Do you agree with it, Kenneth? He means yes. Okay, I'll take that. I'll, I'll get you guys this. All right. Uh, are we on the first chapter so far about the dinner party and the fire? Well, let's talk about the next chapter. What is the next chapter? The jinx. Yeah. Why is it called the jinx? Uh, because it's like not a good book. Oh, no. Here we go. Okay, okay. Here we go. All right. What's happening? Okay. Well, then, what's happening in the jinx? And I want Cholin to begin. The what? <laughs> I want Cholin to begin on answering what's happening in the chapter, the second chapter that we have to read today called the jinx. Oh, the jinx is about. Like when they found out that Chester has put a fire in the newsstand, and then Mama, Mama Billy, I think that's how you say. It. I forgot, but, 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 the, okay, <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> says, says that he has to leave, and then just, and then Tuck, no, not Tucker, Chester, plays Mama Billy's, Billy's, yeah, I think it's Billy, favorites. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Favorite song, and then that just makes makes his mom say he can just say a few more days. Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Great. Okay, Benjamin, what do you think is happening in the story? Describe what's happening in the second chapter, please. They celebrate. They celebrate and have a party. And Tucker Mouse heard the radio and wanted to dance and trip over. That's that's. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I see. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting so far. Kenneth, what is your uh, uh, understanding of the second chapter? Second? That's Jinx. Jinx? The Jinx is... Second. What? The Jinx is the third. Yeah, the third. The third, sorry, yes, the third. Um... The Jinx. Uh, the... Uh, Mama Bellini wants to throw away uh, the, the oh, bracket yeah. and why? Because she thought <laughs> she to set up the fire to to throw uh, away. Mother Bellini wanted to throw away, throw out the cricket? Yep. Yes. Guys, you are missing some crucial information. Why did she want to throw away the cricket? Well, because he set a fire. 
because it's got the fire. <laughs> Okay, well, okay, okay, guys, I'm not saying this for the one I'm saying because I should give out a lot of important information. For example, I just said that let's pretend like that I don't know what's happening. And you guys could still give me information. You guys might give me full information. I did not know the crystal was about to get thrown away. What was Mario's reaction when he found out that Mother of uh, Tom wanted to throw away the cricket? Uh... What was Mario's reaction to it? Well, of course he says no. Yeah. He's like, no. Well, did he actually throw the cricket out or did Mario keep the cricket? Well, Mario's mom. Yes? <laughs> Who is it going to answer? <laughs> uh, we'll go with Karen. Yay. Mario's react. Um, he's upset that he wanted to uh to keep the the pet and then uh what? Well, yes, yes, I'm listening. Well, go on. <laughs> He, he, uh, then the cricket saying, Mom, uh, Mama Bellini, he, Bellini's favorite song, and she said, He can stay. And, and Mario, Ma and Mario is very, yes. Very, very happy. Okay, that's some interesting information you didn't tell me before, guys. So, the cricket played Mama Bellini's favorite song. That is interesting. I did not know that, guys. But okay, <sighs> that's another interesting bit of information. All right, guys. All right, interesting. So, what's happening in chapter four? We'll get on what's happening in chapter four. Chapter four. The real chapter four. Chapter four, Harry Cat. Face class. No, no, no. Chapter four, face class, guys. What's happening in that chapter? Chapter four is this. This chapter. Four. No. <laughs> I've done the same mistake too. <laughs> Something else. No, no. Something else. Oh. <laughs> Wrong for two times. Guys, come on, let's focus here. Let's focus. So, what's happening in that chapter? Huh? <laughs> what's happening in that? Chapter? What's happening in the fourth chapter for today? <laughs> what was that? What was that, guys? I don't know what's that. Um, I know. All right, guys. Let's get a couple of things clear, okay? Let's make a couple of things clear. So, first of all, you guys have done an amazing job for today's class. I'm very proud of you all. Amazing job there. No problem. Another thing, though, guys. At the end of the day, your guys are having trouble with the details. So, we have the last class, guys. We have the last class in next Sunday, okay? And I need you guys to do the following, and this is very important. Okay, I need you guys to do this very, very important. Kenneth, Benjamin, and Joel, I need you guys to read in exact detail everything that is happening in the last chapter, four chapter, four and three chapters, right, guys? Three, 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 three chapters, exactly. So I need you guys to read in detail everything that is happening in the last three chapters. This is crucial, guys, because I'm going to be, as I told you guys, I'm going to be pretending like I don't know anything, like I don't know what's happening, 
I need you guys to all kind of sit down and properly and briefly explain to me every, every single thing that's happening, okay? In detail, okay? Okay. Because today you guys seem to be missing out some crucial bit of information. For example, uh, 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 Mario's mom wants to get rid of Tucker, but then she changed her mind because Tucker played her Tucker? song. So Tucker? You said Tucker. Why the Tucker? What? You say she wants to get rid of Tucker. Oh, Chester. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's what I mean, okay? All the details, guys, I want you guys to fill them out for next class, okay? When I ask questions, I want you guys to ask. Yeah, ask Tucker. Okay. We'll see. That's easy. All right, we'll see that and all of you guys in the next class, okay? Don't forget the vocabulary. Don't forget the worksheets. I'll see you guys next time, okay? okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.